making the hypotenuse exactly equal to one means that sine and cosine being divided by radius is just gonna be divided by one. So the numbers on the outside end up being the exact projections of that unit radius onto the X and Y axis. But in our problem here, the actual point P did not have a radius of one. It was five times that radius. So the sine and the cosine that you calculate is the projection of a unit circle onto the sine and the cosine, the X and the Y axis. So in our case, our radius is not one, it's five times bigger than that. So another way I've been telling you to think of all these things is the X, the cosine is like the chopping factor for X. If you take a hypotenuse, which is the hypotenuse in my problem, and I multiply by the cosine of the angle, then what I'm doing is I'm chopping that hypotenuse and I'm chopping it to get the X component. And the X component here is three. So when I take this and multiply by the cosine, I actually get three. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.